Are your coal generators and oil refineries not working as well as they should be? Are you lacking that water that you need? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to help you solve all those problems right here on episode one of Runestone Gaming Satisfactory Tips. So one thing that I noticed that a lot of new players experience, and even some players with some hours in, is that they often don't realize that, in fact, the pipes in the game have a limit of 300 water or liquid per minute allowed within them. And because of that, um, you need to maximize those pipes. So looking at the water extractor, it puts out 120 water per minute. If the pipes are maxed, to 300, then we have to consider how do we do this in a way that's efficient? Well, we could hypothetically have three water extractors going into a single pipe. However, you will then be producing 60 extra water and your machines won't be working as efficiently. I have two potential solutions. We'll be first looking at solution one. Here's solution one. Solution one involves laying out three water extractors, but in fact, instead of having that third water extractor running at full, we're actually gonna tune that water extractor down to 50%. Now, tuning that water extractor down to 15%, in fact, results in a 300 water per minute line. Um, so that is a super easy, simple solution, but once again, you're not maximizing your machines. So. For this video, I'm going to show you guys the second solution, and we're going to walk through that. Okay, this is it, the coup de grace. This is solution two. This is the solution that you should really be striving for in this game. So you've got five water extractors and two pipes. So what we have here is that how do you make five extractors and evenly distribute them amongst two pipes? Well, you lay them out side by side, simply like this, and then you will put your fifth one, it could be on either side, and you'll just add a U-bend at the very end of it, or at some point along the pipe. Let's take a look at the build. What you're gonna do is you're gonna locate your nearest body of water, which uh, I'm in one of the easy starting zones, and there is a body of water pretty relatively close to that starting zone. Now, what the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at your water extractor and kind of see how much room they take up. This is a very small lake. The idea here is that you're going to lay down foundation to put extractors both on the left and right so you can pipe them later. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm starting here because I was able to determine that I could fit two water extractors in this location here and three water extractors in this location here side by side. I will then begin by dropping the foundation on the ground. You could drop this anywhere and just run it right across. Then you're going to drop the water extractors down. The idea here being that you want to get as close to the foundation as possible. This looks like a good spot as any. Then you're going to continue laying the water extractors. Now here's something to look out for. You're going to want to actually look at the feet of the water extractor, not the water extractor itself. As you can look at the bottom left hand side of the screen and you see the white box lines. That's the footing, the footing of the building. You're going to want to line those lines up. So you're going to want to get that as close as possible. Looks like I was able to get that as close as possible. And the other three will be on this side again trying to get it as close as possible while still making sure it's straight and then lining up this one next to here okay and I believe one more will line up here well you did it congratulations you've done the hardest part you've laid five extractors down on the left and right hand side of a foundation pathway. From here, and it looks like they're not completely straight, but you get the idea. You're going to want to lay extractors both on the left and the right hand side of the foundation. Next step is that because this is two pipes, you're going to want to lay down those pipeline supports. As you can see, this middle line is the center. You're going to move a little bit to the right and then a little bit to the right on the other center. You'll then come down to the end. 
you'll lay the same thing. One on the left and one on the right. You grab the pipeline. You're gonna run the pipeline down the entire, oh, and then this one says too long. So when it does say too long, you're going to want to make a copy. Remember hitting F, making a copy of your pipeline support, dropping your pipeline support, laying down the pipeline, just like so. Okay, you've done it. You've laid down the pipeline. Now the idea here is that we are going to loop this pipeline over here and that will fill in the extra from this fifth extractor. We'll put the cross on here, lining up, make sure you line up with the extractors. Junction cross here and here. Perfect. Then you'll run the pipelines from the junction. One more piece to this puzzle, and that is the final, which is the fluid buffer, which you should be receiving as well. You have done it. You have completed your build. Something to keep in mind is do remember that these water extractors are pushing out 120 a minute. Keep in mind that the pipes, the limitations on the pipe is 300. And so with this setup, this will fill two entire pipes with 300 water per minute. And there you have it. Five extractors, two pipe method. Following this method on your map will result in maxed out water pipes. With maxed out water pipes, you shouldn't have any issues at any of your refineries or coal generators. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of the solutions that I walked through today, please feel free to add it down in the comments. Find me on Discord, find me on Twitch, all down there at the bottom in the description. I'll see you guys again. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your interest in this series. This means a lot to me. I'll see you again in the longhouse.